Windows 11 is great, but it's not for everyone, and it doesn't work wonderfully on every computer. If you've installed Windows 11 and find you want to go back to Windows 10, you always have that option. The only catch is, you only have 10 days after installing Windows 11 to roll back to Windows 10 exactly how you left it. Otherwise, you'll have to reinstall Windows 10, which wipes all your apps and files. Now, I'll let you know there's actually a way to extend that window to 60 days, and we'll look at that in a bit, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. As long as you're within the window, whether that's 10 days or 60 days, rolling back to Windows 10 is super easy. Open the Settings app, then go to System. Scroll down until you see Recovery on the right side and select it. Now select Go Back. By the way, Microsoft will want to know why you're downgrading, but what you tell them is up to you. Click Next, then follow the prompts to finish downgrading. And that's it. You're well on your way to Windows 10 exactly how it was just before you left it. But what was it about that downgrade window? Even if you're trying Windows 11 and you like it, it can't hurt to extend that downgrade window so in case you change your mind, you can go back easily. Right click on the Start menu, then choose Windows PowerShell with Admin in parentheses. Now it's time to type a few commands. Type DISM forward slash online slash git OS uninstall window. Capitalization is important here, so make sure to enter it exactly as you see it on the screen. Now hit enter and you'll see a message showing your uninstall window. Now type DISM forward slash online slash set OS uninstall window forward slash value colon 60. Hit enter. Now if you rerun that first command, you'll see your downgrade window is now 60 days. And that's it. For more information, don't forget to check out maketecheasier.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.